Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan here to do a video on how to properly insulate some tubes where I installed some skylights in a kitchen remodel. So what happened is, is I added these two skylights so I framed in from the roof down to the ceiling of this room, built the box, foamed it and drywalled it, and now we're going to go up into the attic. We're going to use touch and foam two-part 200 board foot component kit to insulate the attic side of these tubes. What we're using here is a touch and foam made by convenience product 200 square foot kit approximately one inch thick. The kit must be applied warm. The containers have to be warm when you use them. You have up to 30 days to reuse this kit but they tell you about every 10 days to take and purge out the nozzle and clean it just to keep the chemical from getting too old in the tubes. And here are the skylights from the outside. You can see that the lower skylights were put on 2x6s, the upper skylights were put on 2x4s. The reason they're up so high is to give me more flashing room to prevent water from leaking into the attic whenever there's a storm or a high water pressure around my skylights. The skylight tunnel is right behind me. I took some four foot baffles, plastic baffling, and I cut it into 16 inch sections. I shoved it in to my overhang here where the fiberglass is going to be stuffed. So what happens here is the baffles allow airflow from my overhang to come up into this attic area. Just like that. So now I'll get continuous airflow from down low to up here. And what I'm doing is I'm putting some fiberglass and some baffles in my attic here like this so that airflow can flow from my overhangs up into this attic. Per the manufacturer's instructions, you follow their video. They have an excellent video on how to do this. I've got my canisters up here. I've got everything all primed. I haven't purged the gun yet. They tell you to take and, and squirt some foam into a box until you get all the air out. Okay, I'm getting both foams are coming out now. Apply the grease around the O-ring. Insert the nozzle per their instructions. We do another quick test. Foam comes out fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mask up. You're going to watch me spray this wall and you see how easy this stuff is to use. It is excellent. I made two passes on the side of my tunnel. I've sprayed it to the roof deck, got it glued there. I've sprayed up in between the rafters, insulated it there. Now I'm going to move on and I'm going to finish the job around the rest of the tunnels. Spraying this on is as easy as using a can of spray paint. You can see there's hardly any mess coming out of the gun. We're out of the attic. My nozzle got clogged. The grease is still going to work for me one more time. Got the nozzle, new nozzle on. Just going to show how neat and easy this can be to use. I'm working improperly without a mask right now just so I can talk. First I do the corners. Then I do the field. The 
first time I used this product was I insulated a steel garage door. One thing to note about this product is how much heat it's giving off. Very, very warm here. They tell you not to put it in too thick. Now, you'll notice on the floor, I'm getting very little fallout. This has uh, been a very easy, clean product to use for me. So I'm achieving a nice R value and I'm stopping any wind or air from penetrating through these walls. Look how quick it hardens up. Tell you not to go over an inch at a time. It can create so much heat, it could potentially start a fire. Spray foam. Quite easy to use. Mess, yes, not very much though. And when you're crawling around in an attic, careful, wear some crappy clothes, you're bound to get it on you. Easy to use, great insulation, covers a lot of sins, and now my skylight won't be dumping a bunch of heat from my house into my attic, wasting energy. Here we are looking at the inside of the tunnels. Now I foamed them, attached them to the ceiling. So these will not have any moisture or wind attenuation coming through.